Today, we have an exciting discussion lined up for you. We'll be diving deep into the world of quantitative decision making, specifically focusing on the intersection of game theory and the lean startup methodology. So buckle up and get ready for an insightful journey ahead. Let's get started. Got a coffee break? Embrace your inner wolf, step up. Forget titles and hierarchies. It's all about problem solving. Lead or follow to ignite outcomes. Play your part, embody our brand. Zero excuses. Build your wolf pack, savor victory. Validate your expertise, attain mastery. The road to freedom awaits. Engage, flaunt our brand. Unleash your power at buildyourwolfpack.com. Unleash now at buildyourwolfpack.com. Understanding Quantitative Decision-Making Decision-making is a critical aspect of every business, and making informed decisions based on data and analysis is vital for success. Quantitative decision-making refers to the process of using numerical data and mathematical models to evaluate various alternatives and select the most optimal course of action. Quantitative decision-making involves assessing the potential outcomes and associated probabilities, considering the costs and benefits, and ultimately choosing the option that maximizes value or minimizes risks. It provides a structured approach to decision-making, especially in complex and uncertain situations. Quantitative decision-making is important for several reasons. Firstly, it reduces the impact of bias and subjectivity in decision-making. By relying on data and analysis, decision-makers can make more objective and rational choices, free from personal biases or emotional influences. Secondly, quantitative decision-making allows for a more comprehensive evaluation of alternatives by considering relevant quantitative factors such as costs, revenues, probabilities, and performance metrics. Decision-makers can systematically capture different options and identify the one that offers the highest value or the lowest risk. Lastly, quantitative decision-making provides a framework for measuring and monitoring the outcomes of decisions. By establishing clear metrics and targets, decision-makers can assess the effectiveness of their choices and make adjustments if needed. This helps in continuous improvement and ensures that decisions are aligned with the desired outcomes. Exploring Game Theory Game theory is a powerful tool that can be employed in quantitative decision-making. It originated in mathematics and economics and has found applications in various fields, including business and strategy. Game theory helps us analyze strategic interactions between rational decision-makers and understand their choices in competitive situations. At its core, game theory examines the incentives, actions, and potential outcomes of players in a given game. It involves creating models, such as payoff matrices, to represent the choices and expected outcomes for each player involved. By analyzing these models, decision-makers can identify optimal strategies and make more informed decisions. Game Theory Principles in Decision-Making Let's explore how game theory principles can be applied to quantitative decision-making. One important concept is the Nash Equilibrium, which represents a stable situation where no player can unilaterally change their strategy to improve their outcome, assuming all other players' strategies remain constant. By considering the Nash Equilibrium and potential strategies of other players, decision-makers can anticipate and plan for different scenarios. They can analyze the potential outcomes, assess the risks and rewards associated with each strategy, and make decisions that maximize their own benefits while considering the actions of others. Introduction to the Lean Startup Methodology Now that we have a basic understanding of game theory's relevance to decision-making, let's explore how it intersects with the Lean Startup Methodology. The Lean Startup Methodology, developed by Eric Ries, is a widely adopted by entrepreneurs and innovators to build successful and sustainable businesses. The Lean Startup methodology emphasizes rapid experimentation, customer feedback, and iterative development. It encourages entrepreneurs to create a minimum viable product, or MVP, to gather valuable insights and validate assumptions early on. Through a process of build, measure, learn, entrepreneurs iteratively improve their product or service based on real-world feedback. Overlapping Principles of Game Theory and Lean Startup Although game theory and lean startup methodology may initially appear distinct, they share some common principles that enhance quantitative decision-making. Both approaches prioritize data and analysis over intuition or guesswork. 
In the Lean Startup methodology, entrepreneurs collect and analyze data from customer interactions, market trends, and feedback loops to make informed decisions about product development and market positioning. Similarly, game theory relies on data and analysis to evaluate potential outcomes and identify optimal strategies. One key area of overlap between game theory and the lean startup methodology is in dealing with uncertainty and risk. Both approaches acknowledge that decision-making in competitive environments involves inherent uncertainties and risks. In game theory, decision makers consider the potential actions and strategies of competitors and assess the risks and rewards associated with different choices. This analysis allows entrepreneurs to strategically position themselves to gain a competitive advantage and capture market share. Similarly, the Lean Startup methodology encourages entrepreneurs to embrace uncertainty and take a data-driven approach to decision making. By conducting small-scale experiments, gathering feedback from customers, and iterating on their products or services, entrepreneurs can reduce risks and make informed decisions based on real-world data. Another shared principle between game theory and the lean startup methodology is the importance of data-driven decision-making. Both approaches emphasize the value of collecting and analyzing relevant data to inform decision-making processes. In game theory, decision makers rely on available data, market research, and analysis to assess the potential outcomes and make strategic choices. This helps them understand the preferences and behaviors of competitors, anticipate market responses, and select optimal strategies. Similarly, the Lean Startup methodology promotes a culture of experimentation and continuous learning. Entrepreneurs collect data through user feedback, market testing, and analytics to validate assumptions, refine their product or service offerings, and make evidence-based decisions. Applying Game Theory in Lean Startup Let's delve deeper into how game theory can be applied within the context of the Lean Startup methodology. One significant application is in understanding the competitive landscape and potential responses from other market players. By employing game theory, entrepreneurs can analyze the strategies and potential actions of competitors. They can assess the risks and rewards of different market entry points, pricing strategies, and product features. This analysis allows entrepreneurs to strategically position themselves to gain a competitive advantage and capture market share. Applying Lean Startup and Game Theory on the flip side, the Lean Startup methodology can also benefit from game theory principle. Entrepreneurs can utilize the Lean Startup methodology to gather real-world data and feedback, which can inform game theory models and strategic analysis. By incorporating Lean Startup principles into game theory analysis, decision makers can validate assumptions, test strategies, and refine their models based on actual market feedback. This iterative approach enhances the accuracy and reliability of game theory prediction, leading to more robust and effective decision-making. The first principle of the Lean Startup methodology is to embrace uncertainty. Similarly, decision-making in game theory often involves dealing with uncertainties about competitors' actions and outcomes. By applying Lean Startup principles, decision-makers can acknowledge and embrace this uncertainty, understanding that it provides an opportunity for learning and adaptation. In game theory, decision makers can conduct small-scale experiments or simulations to test different strategies and observe the outcome. This approach allows for the exploration of various scenarios and the collection of data that can inform decision making. Validated Learning The second principle of the Lean Startup methodology is validated learning. This principle emphasizes the importance of gathering real-world data and feedback to validate assumptions and make informed decisions. In the context of game theory, Decision makers can apply the concept of validated learning by testing their strategies in real or simulated environments and analyzing the result. By collecting data on the outcomes of different strategies, decision makers can learn which approaches are effective and refine their decision making accordingly. Real world examples. To further illustrate the intersection of game theory and lean startup methodology, let's explore some real world examples. One prominent case is the competition between tech giants Apple and Samsung in the smartphone market. Both companies employ game theory principles to analyze their competitors' strategies, anticipate market responses, and make data driven decisions about product features, pricing, and marketing. At the same time, they embrace the Lean Startup methodology by continuously iterating their products based on user feedback and market demand. These real-world examples illustrate how game theory and Lean Startup principles can be applied in diverse industries and decision-making contexts. By embracing uncertainty, employing data-driven decision-making, iterating on strategies, and adapting to changing dynamics.
organizations can enhance their decision-making processes and achieve desired outcomes. Whether it's dynamic pricing in transportation, trust-based ratings in hospitality, or auction-based advertising in the online sphere, the integration of game theory and lean startup principles allows businesses to navigate competitive environments, foster innovation, and drive. As we conclude our discussion on the intersection of game theory and the lean startup methodology in quantitative decision-making, we can appreciate the synergy between these approaches. By leveraging game theory principles, decision-makers can make informed choices in competitive environments, considering the actions of others and assessing potential outcomes. Simultaneously, the Lean Startup methodology provides a framework for entrepreneurs to collect data, iterate on their products, and validate assumptions. When combined, these approaches enhance decision-making by incorporating quantitative analysis, real-world feedback, and strategic thinking. So whether you're an entrepreneur, a strategist, or simply interested in improving your decision-making skills, understanding the intersection of game theory and the Lean Startup methodology can provide valuable insights and tools for success. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope you found this discussion enlightening and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring and making those informed decisions.